Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the TCS data interview experience of a selected candidate for 2024 batch student. So he has given his interview in March 2024 and he was selected for the TCS data role. So guys, yesterday also I made a video on TCS prime interview experience and you have given a lot of good response on that video. So here I am with the TCS digital interview experience of a selected candidate. Guys, lot of interview experiences for TCS Ninja, TCS Digital and TCS Prime are already uploaded on my channel and there will be more such interview experiences that will be uploaded in future also. So don't miss any of these updates because this placement I know is a very good opportunity for you to clear. So don't make any mistakes. You can give us mock interviews as well for different different profiles if you're not feeling confident about your interviews. Okay, the links for booking this mock interview are given in the description box. All these slots are very limited, so book as soon as possible so that you don't make any mistakes in your actual interviews. Okay, so for further updates on regarding TCS placement or any other placement, you can click on the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. So guys, now let's move ahead and discuss the interview questions which are asked in TCS digital profile. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was March 2024. So this interview happened on campus in March 2024. The branch of my friend was ECE. The duration of the entire interview was 40 minutes. It consisted of TR round, MR round and HR round questions. Okay, so now let's start with the interview questions starting with TR round. For starting with technical questions, first question as you all know will be introduce yourself. So whether you are giving interview for Infosys, Amazon, TCS, Cognizant, this particular question is very much important and in yesterday's video also I have told you that there are five things to include in this particular answer. First thing is about your educational background. Second thing is about your skills. Third skill is a uh, third uh, thing is about your uh, projects. Fourth thing is about your uh, internship that you did. And then you can talk about your extracurricular activities that you did in your college. So this will comprise of a very good answer for one or one and a half minute. And it will be good to go. It will be a good starting point for you. Okay. Moving ahead. Was the question why you chose IT while being from EC background? Okay, so this is again a very much important question for the non IT students. See, because originally you are from the electronics background, but why you are coming into IT? So you have to make a very good answer that uh, the interviewer should get convinced. What is the answer you can give? You can give the answer that okay, now I have experience, I have an experience of around three years in the EC background, and I am simultaneously doing coding also. Now I think that my interest lies more in the coding part irrespective of the fact that I am from the electronics branch I, I am capable of doing IT things also and my interest lies at the IT side not at the electronic side earlier I was not aware but as the time progressed as I uh, engage in different different opportunities like hackathon or anything in my college then I got to know that my interest lies in the IT side so therefore I am deciding to switch from ECE to IT okay. So I hope this thing is clear to you. Moving ahead, the next question is explain the following concepts like OOPs, super keyword and interfaces. So if you are following my channel, then you must be finding a common relationship but between these questions because these type of questions are very common and they can be asked in your 8 out of 10 interviews. Okay, that what are OOPs concepts? There are 4 OOPs concepts we all know polymorphism, encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance. Then there is a super keyword, super keyword again, it's a one line definition. You can read it from Google. The purpose of this video is not to give you the answers, just to give you the type of the questions which are asked in the interviews so that you can prepare for yourself. Okay. Next is interfaces. Interfaces again, there are what are interfaces, why we use them, how multiple inheritance uh, is implemented using interface. All these things you can study uh, online. These are simple straightforward questions that can be asked from you. Okay, and I'm also like planning to come up with a video series for Java for interview, wherein I will be covering different different questions like what are Lambda functions, what are different type of interfaces, why we are we are using interfaces, uh, stream APIs, what is date time API. So all these videos I am planning to make. So please, if you are watching this video till here, write in the comment section that yes, you want this type of series on my channel, which will help you in preparing for the interviews. Okay, so moving ahead. Next question is explain your project in detail. So again, in uh, in any interview, the major focus will be on your projects because by this the interviewer will know that how many projects you have done, what is your technical capability, have you done those projects on your own or if you have done them in your team. If you have done them in your team, then 
how you are managing how you have managed to know how to do projects in a team so by this by writing your projects at least two projects in your resume you you get some edge over the other students and if you are able if the projects are really good then again the chances of selection increases but all things you need to explain in your project i have made a separate video for that i will give the link in the i button as well as in the inter description box go and watch it for yourself how to explain your project in detail in the interview okay moving ahead why you chose this particular project and what is the future scope of this project again if you are doing any project then there must be any future scope in that project also see you are not doing just for the purpose of doing it many of you do i know but you don't have to tell this to the interviewer interviewer always looks for these things that the project that you are doing the time you are investing in should have a greater uh, advantage okay what is the future scope how we can enhance it what is different from already existing projects so all these questions can come in your way there might be some of the grilling that is done in your in your project okay that is not an issue next is could you draw and explain the architecture of your project see i am working in an mnc okay so whenever we start a project first design design is made then uh, based on designs different different stories are made and then actual coding begins okay i know this type of practice we do not follow follow in our college time but again the first step of making a project is not to code things but to make a design of it the high level that okay this is my api or this is my starting point of the project and these are the services like this database i will be using this logic will be written here this is how we will be starting our project this is how like we will be invoking other other things okay there is a proper uh, flow diagram that we make that after this this should happen after this this should happen okay so this is the exact industry industry way of starting a project so if you are able to make the architecture of your project it will be very good okay i know in college we do not think of flow chart we just start simply by start the project by coding it but it would be good if you explain explain the architecture okay next thing is what type of database you use in your project so there can be sql databases also there can be mysql oh sorry there can be no sql databases also so anything based on your need you can use i know many of the school projects or college projects you use sql database because it's very simple okay okay so guys before moving ahead i would like you to know that we are taking mock interviews for tcs ninja tcs detail and tcs prime for all profiles we are taking mock interviews if you are not feeling confident about yourself and it is your first interview so you can book mock interview with us we will tell you that what are, what are were your good points and what were your bad points and what is the area of your focus if you want us to review your resume also so there is a separate service for it you can book this slot here also but these all slots are very limited so book your slot as soon as possible all the links for booking your slot will be given in the description box so now let's continue the video next is why did you choose sql over mongodb in your project so first of all sql is a schema based database and mongodb is a schema less database okay in mongodb we use key value pairs where in sql we use queries over the table so that we can fetch our required rows or answer so again it is all these questions are all related to your project so you must be able to answer these projects so if this question is asked from this candidate it is it is not necessary that this same question can be asked from you but the main idea is that see how in depth the, the interviewer is trying to ask you from your project so your projects you should know in and out front end back end sql these three layers you should know okay so i hope this question is also clear to you next is what is github and how does it work so again many of you will be using github it is not a new name for you so github what github does it is a repository here all your code is there if anyone if anyone wants to a uh, contribute to your project first of all he will cut a branch out of your project do your do his or her coding in that branch and then it will that branch will get merged into your current code so this is how it works and this is how it maintains the consistency across all the users of that particular repository okay this is what a github in this we just uh, in these are repository code repositories are present okay in simple words okay i hope this thing is clear to you next is explain the concept of joining in databases provide a real life example and left join sql query so again database uh, why we join database you must be knowing that okay we have to find data from two different tables then we have to join them okay then uh, what are different type of joins are there left join right join inner join full join so all these things you should know 
and you should be able to write basic SQL queries. SQL queries are very basic that you, uh, you should know while uh, going to the interview. Okay. So I think these, okay. So last question for the technical round was, what is array list in Java? Again, it's a simple array. You can explain it to the interviewer. Okay. Now coming to the HR and MR question. So this was all for the technical round. Technical round consisted of around 25 minutes because most of the theory questions were there. No coding questions were there. So therefore around uh, 25 minutes were there for the 25, 30 minutes were there for the technical round. Now coming to the HR and MR questions. So these are five HR and MR questions. It was a uh, like mix and match for both HR and MR. So what are your short term and long term career goals? Depends on you. Where do you see yourself in five years? So again, it's a very typical HR question. You must know. We may need to relocate you to a different city or current uh, country. Are you comfortable with that? You should say yes. Okay, you should say yes. But again, it will later depend on your project and that in which city you will go. Okay, but to the answer your question in the interview, you should always say yes. Are you aware of the TCS bond one year? What if we can't offer your preferred location? So this TCS bond one year is not in TCS digital. It is in TCS ninja. For TCS digital, there is no bond. So again, you can say like this they want to just uh, know that are you aware of the policies they are bringing or not by these questions okay next is do you have any questions for us again do ask for uh, do uh, do ask any questions regarding that what will be your job profile what will be company expecting from you all these things you can ask from the interviewer okay so all i hope both tr mr and hr questions are clear to you now if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section you are not feeling confident about your uh about the interview you can give us mock interviews for any profile we are taking mock interviews for ninja digital prime and we are also doing resume reviews also so if you want to uh want us to do resume reviews again you can book this slot but again slots are very limited the links you'll find in the description box thank you for watching this video do hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel